in the laziest bitch in the whorehouse. Legs spread wide, lucky strike, dangling from my cock stained scarlet lips, eyes on the alarm clock, reminding me with every passing pulsation that my funeral procession will be a century long samba filled with all the beautiful young soldiers who have come to soil my battlefield. They needed to be like bullets fired at point blank range and I loved it. For the blood and the cum would mingle with the hot molten lead. I felt as if I was being fucking anointed and my brain was littered with MDMA, cocaine, oh yeah, maybe a joint or two, I don't know what's in it, but we're gonna fucking mix. All prophylactics against my own sickness. Some days, some days, some nights, some days are meant to be wasted. Some nights are meant to be wasted. I saw the best minds of my generation scoring dime bags of dope on Avenue D, their sickness incurable from their disease, and they'd always wake up and say the same thing. Some days, some nights, some decades are meant to be wasted. Well, I hate you. Don't waste your time. Don't waste your time. Time. In the beginning, in the beginning, in the beginning, before they had invented God. In the beginning, in the beginning, there was simply woman. Some say, some say, some say that the devil is a woman. If there's a devil, I pray she's a woman. Maybe a monster, maybe my doll, but in the beginning, there was simply a woman. Do you remember our sacred origins when we as witches lived in covens? We had a wild bacchanalia. We danced naked under the moonlight. We have orgies, wild blood rituals. Women invented poetry, language, song, and dance. The night, the night has always belonged to women. They've always feared us. Feared our magic, feared our power, our sex. Ooh. In the beginning, before they had invented God, a perversion of all religion. God, after all, was the first cop, the first cop, the first big, big, low life, only motherfucker that condemned us. And I do love the thought of a naked man tortured on a fucking cross and bleeding. He gave us that. He gave us that to jerk off to night after night. <laughs> Thank you, Bob. Like 
get slaughtered and not the original perpetrators. Mommy and Daddy Dearest. Who probably abandoned the little boy, no boy, starts out thinking he wants to grow up to be a madman or a monster, maybe he's just scaring out the family. No boy starts out thinking he wants to be a madman or a monster. But maybe mommy and daddy or daddy's replacement were down at the local bar getting shit faced and left him with a babysitter who was stoned on acid and finger fucking herself off in the next room and plopped the little baby boy in front of an idiot box until mommy and daddy dearest came home to batter and demonstration and submission all the little boys that didn't want to go to the monsters or just carrying out of the family tradition. And a lot of families in this fucking country abuse is the tradition. So I pity, but I know it's not this man. And I pity men. I don't fear you. I don't hate you. I fucking love you. And most of all, I pity you. Because I know how hard it is to be a man. What the fuck am I? You can't answer that. These are my balls, baby. Trust me. Little boys don't start out going to be mad men or maniacs. Sometimes they neglect. Plugged in front of the fucking video games to train their motor functions. And it's no wonder it's always boys that grow up to be politicians, rapists, schoolyard snipers, schoolyard, where their fucking sense of self is probably castrated on a football field because they were weird or they were a fag and they were too sensitive. And then a one where the night was swastika, or the backward baseball cap, and Marilyn Manson wasn't enough. And I don't blame a boy for getting fucking pissed off, because people don't get it. Because they're outside of everything. Because violence is in our blood. So when the bullets start flying in the schoolyards, I understand perfectly fucking well what's happening. They don't have my phone number. I'll play mommy. Send me your teenage boards, all your bitches, if you're procreate, send me your songs. How dare you in your vanity procreate? I hate your fucking hypocrites. Send me your songs. <laughs> I'll tell them that there's no such thing as sexual segregation. I am as much man as I am woman. I want a boy to be soft. I want a woman to be hard. That's my babies. I'll take care of the teenage boys. Barely fucking Manson wanted you to. Nothing, don't blame him. Why don't they ever blame me? Because when teenage boys come on the big mama lunch, they know what they're fucking getting. Empathy. The problem of being a man or a woman or an individual in this fucking society. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> And oppression. This is the martyrs. 
This is for the Carters. This is for Mohamed Mossadegh, Salvador Landet, Oscar Romero, Jay Ovando, Federico Garcia Lorca, Pasolini, Bruno Schultz, Madeline Murray O'Hara, my personal fucking hero. Got rid of prayer in school. Look up the Playboy interview in 1969. <laughs> Murdered in the desert. Hated. Most hated woman in America to watch it to the stage. Got rid of prayer in school. Madeline Maria here. It's the wounded. This is for the wounded and the traumatized. This is for the wounded and the traumatized. This is for the survivors. This is for the survivors. This is for those suffering from post-traumatic stress syndrome, which I feel like I am suffering every day of my fucking life. After living a life full of the enemy's fucking lies. Born into a ghosted state of poverty, depression, racial segregation. Born into the negativity of the world, which forces you to fight tooth and nail to just hold that tenuous script on your own fucking sanity. Shop, a slaughterhouse, a bomb factory, a landmine, a butcher shop, 
an insane asylum that talks to fucking dumb. And all the killers are heroes. All killers are heroes. All my heroes are killers. And I myself am filled with a murderous rage. It's like a battle of bitches boxing their way out. I feel like I had become a rapist. I had become a rapist whose impotence at annihilating the real killers is making me very fucking violent against myself and anybody else who's my fucking way. And if you think I sound fucking asshole, you have no fucking clue, man. I am holding it all together. Oh yeah, I'm holding it all fucking together. I swear to God, because it could be one minute you're flesh and bones and night you're flesh and fucking blood, pies and pies. I've got inside the enemy's head. I've got inside the enemy's head. The enemy's got inside my head. He's sleeping in my fucking bed. My womb, a tomb, a sacrificial cup. The more they kill, the more I fuck. Yeah. You're either with me or you're against me. You're either with me or you want to fight or you want to fuck. Either way, you're going to fuck. Pleasure is the only real rebellion. Pleasure is the only real rebellion because it's the first fucking thing they steal from us, especially as women, in the first place. 